like I said in the original post on this moon evidence, go in front of a lamp with two balls and spin them any which way you want. Arrange them any way you want, top, bottom, left, right, side by side. You will never create an angle between these terminator lines. G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well here's the promised second video for the night. It's a that guy video, yes I know, break out the oven mitts. Anyway, he's put up a little quick video, so that's good, nice and considerate, to be able to just quickly point out where he's wrong. Although he was right the other day when he was talking about the two balls and the terminator, in that the terminators would always be parallel and line up with one another. That is actually correct, that guy, well done. Um, and that is also kind of the point that Sly was trying to make by holding up the ball near the moon. Now, the other point that I wanted to make was that you're not doing it right, mate. Yeah. Kind of angled to the top right. Not so much here. It's more bottom right. Because again, this doesn't have shit to do with that. You're not doing it right, mate. Oh, the phase on the ball will be exactly that of the moon. Wow, douche. Does the phase on that ball look like it was on the moon? Like, does that match the moon? See where you're holding the soccer ball? You're supposed to hold it up really close to the moon. Here, look, have a look at mine. This is how you do it. And when I did it today, look how beautiful it lines up. Sorry, the ball was sitting a bit screwy on the pole, but okay, you get the idea. So now that you've seen how it's done, what do you think of that? Just tie a knot in it. And you did say something about Sly was a um, good job going out and picking the time when it works. Can you tell me what time of the day it doesn't work? Because I've done it about five times in the last two days and every time it lines up beautifully. So please, that guy, another little task for you. Tell me when it doesn't work. Oh, that guy. When I did this at uh, lunchtime today, I actually used my styrofoam ball and two little skewers. I thought, I wonder what angle it actually is. So I stuck the skewer in and lined it up with the sun on this side. So I had very little shadow. So that stick is in line with the sun, as you can see. And when I pointed it the other way towards the moon, there you go. That's pretty much the angle between the sun and the moon down here. Let's turn it sideways and have a look. Hmm. Well, it's certainly more than 90. I wonder what it was. And the other task you've got to do, go and have a look at that South Pole Moon video I put up yesterday. That one will truly melt your brain. 